Welcome to Mrs. Lin's kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make Taiwanese style fried pork chops. Taiwanese fried pork chops is often used in the bento style lunch box, which are often accompanied with stew egg, rice, and uh, pickled vegetables. In order to be a Taiwanese fried pork chops, you need to get the pork chops that has the bone in. You also need to tenderize it and marinate it overnight before frying. The type of flour that you want to use for this dish is either potato flour or cornstarch. You never wanted to use a regular flour or breadcrumbs for this purpose. So let's get started. Here is the ingredients overview. If you don't have potato starch, corn starch will work as well, as long as it is not flour or breadcrumbs. Start by preparing your meal a night in advance so the meat can be marinated. Include all the ingredients including the green onions, ginger slices, and garlic cloves. Place all ingredients into a blender along with the rice wine, soy sauce, five spice, sugar, pepper, salt, and water. Blend together until they have all mixed. After your marinade is ready, prepare your pork chops by tenderizing them. Place the pork chops in saran wrap to keep the pieces from flying and tenderize until they are very thin and have widened. After tenderizing, slice the tendons and fat so when frying the pork chops will not curl up and lose their flat shape. Place the pork chops in a bowl and allow the pork chops to marinate overnight in your refrigerator so the meat has enough time to soak all the flavors. After you have allowed enough time for the meat to marinate, you can now prepare them for frying. Prepare a plate of eggs and potato starch to coat the pork chops for their crispy outer layer. Start by removing excess juices from the pork chop then coating in egg then potato starch. Prepare your wok with the frying rack and place enough oil to fry the pork chops. You will know the oil is ready by putting a small drop of egg and potato starch into the oil and it floats right to the top. When the oil is ready, place one pork chop in at a time and frequently move and flip for about 5 minutes or until it is a nice golden brown. When done, place the pork chop on the frying rack to allow excess oil to drip off while you prepare the others. And then they're all done! Crispy, chewy, and flavorful Taiwanese fried pork chops. So here's the Taiwanese fried pork chops. To serve it, I would recommend slice the pork chops so it looks like a bear paw. I hope you enjoy watching me show you how to make Taiwanese fried pork chops. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And happy eating!